have asked how the violin, predominantly viewed as a classical Western instrument, has become such an integral part of the Maya culture of Belize. The reality is that since the time of the initial European contact, many indigenous communities have been able to adapt and indigenize Western elements. In Belize, this has significantly contributed to shaping the Maya musical and cultural landscape, making their traditions and cultural practices as diverse and dynamic as the people and communities themselves. For the Maya, oral history has been the path for transmission of traditional knowledge from one generation to another, and this has permitted the survival of stories, practices, and values. The elders are the keepers of great wealth of knowledge and they play an integral role in the survival of the great Maya civilization. In southern Belize, both the Kechi and Mopan Maya people continue to embrace the traditional skills and knowledge that contribute to this rich cultural tradition. Music, and specifically violin making, is one of these skills. Hundreds of years of tradition are emptied into one instrument that lightens the heart of many when it is played. Its use in contemporary social and festive events, as well as traditional observances, have made it an integral part of the living Maya heritage. The skills and knowledge that it takes to make the violin are intricate and complex, and its melodic notes are enjoyed by many across communities like Blue Creek, Creek Circle, San Benito Poite, Nalumca, Red Bank, San Jose, and many other Maya communities. The melodious notes of the violin are enjoyed at weddings, Maya Day, patronal festive days, community fairs, and other activities that are part of the Mayan life. Although the younger generation have started to distance themselves from traditional Maya music, there have been local initiatives that have steadily increased pride in playing, listening, and dancing to this type of music. In southern Belize, there are only a few known traditional violin makers. One of them is Mr. Florencio Mess, Belizean musical icon. In 2018, he, along with two other notable Belizeans, was awarded with the National Institute of Culture and History's Artist Emeritus Award. A lesser known violin making treasure is Mr. Marcelino Salam. Mr. Salam is a subsistence farmer and only makes use of his knowledge and skills when called upon to make a violin or to play the instrument at weddings, cultural fairs, Maya Day, and other such events. This is Mr. Salam's sojourn in violin making. The journey to the rainforest of Toledo leads us to the quaint Kechim village of Mabilha, also known as Marbleha. He first began making the violin at the age of 20, and has made 30 violins in almost 40 years of diligence and craftsmanship. Marcelino was taught by his father and has continued the tradition by teaching his son, who can often be found assisting or acting as a sort of apprentice to the master violin maker. Through this informal means, the knowledge and skills of elaborating this instrument is transmitted within the family and for generations to come. Making a violin takes approximately 10 to 14 full days and requires a great deal of determination, concentration, skills, traditional knowledge, and hard work. <laughs> Materials that are native and readily available in our natural environment are used, making the dense forest near his community of Mabilha a rich and important resource for sustaining the tradition. In addition to this natural resource, several tools and implements are used. Many of these tools can be found in any traditional Maya home, while some have been adapted and developed by Mr. Salam over the years. The violin is made primarily of mahogany or cedar and generally from salvaged wood found in the forest. 
Similar to others before him, Mr. Salam has an intrinsic knowledge of the forest that provides the raw materials for the making of the violin. The connection between the Maya and their land is centuries old and is generally one of reverence for the resources it provides to the people living on it. The dry mahogany and cedar wood must be cut on a full moon to avoid weevils as well as a symbolic offering to the moon. The wood blocks are cut for the body and handle of the violin according to the required dimensions. The measuring out and shaping of the violin from the wood slabs take complicated mathematical and design skills. After the design of the body is marked out, the process of carving inside the violin commences. The body and neck or handle of the violin are roughly shaped. It is then worked, carved, and reworked using the specially modified tools until the desired look and feel are achieved. Much of this knowledge is based on experience. Mr. Salam knows when the wood has been worked to its desired outcome and is able to adjust until his preferred effect is achieved. This is typical of much of the traditions and knowledge of the Maya. They are a people whose practices are based on oral traditions and undocumented traditional knowledge. Much of the practices are now only being documented by community members and community organizations. Institutions like the National Institute of Culture and History also engage in documentation and provides support to communities across Belize in the documentation of their cultural heritage. As the process continues, measurement continue, and the core body of the violin continues to be formed to ensure that the violin is up to traditional standards. The waist is lined, marked, and cut out. Then the sanding occurs. This process is lengthy, tedious, and precise. The cover of the violin is then also prepared to desired thickness and glued to the violin's body. All sharp edges are fell down. The head or scroll of the violin is one of the more creative components, often shaped to represent a local animal. It adds further connection between the violin and Mayan life. This also helps in paying homage and celebrating the connection between the Maya music and nature. The peg box and tuning peg are now prepared. Design F holes are cut out from the front of the body and Mr. Salam enters into a final preparation phase where the violin is hand sanded to perfection and the final beautification and detailing is carried out. The focus then switches to the bow which is cut shape sanded to smoothness and then strung. The strings are of henequin which he has planted around his house while the body of the violin is strung with fishing line. The use of these materials and the work that goes into the violin allows for the production of a sound distinct from any other. The final part of the process is possibly the most important. The violin is blessed with pom or copal. The use of the copal is important across the Maya culture as Maya people highly value the copal tree resin as a sacred incense used in ceremonies and rituals. It is important for the violin to be blessed because it is an instrument that will bring peace and joy to many. The strings are rubbed upwards three times with the copal before the violin is officially played. The music often accompanies weddings, spiritual ceremonies, patronal feast days, Maya Day, and other such events. Much of this music and other traditional music forms in Belize continue to be unrecorded. This is the case for violin music and there is a significant need to address this to ensure posterity and wider access and appreciation. The instruments and traditional music of our communities contribute to the complex representations of culture cultural identity in Belize. The violin, along with other instruments such as the harp and the marimba, continue to be an important component of Maya living heritage. This instrument, made from materials of the lush and dense forest and the sound that it has been fashioned to produce, are uniquely Maya uniquely indigenous and uniquely Belizean. While there is concern for the viability of the traditional knowledge and skills of making and playing the violin, there is still hope. It is transmitted through the efforts of Mr. Salam, who continues to encourage his own son to learn and practice. Marcelino's son is now tasked to teach his son. Its importance in Maya communities also help to reassure us as the violin continues to be a hallmark at ritual events and community gatherings.